Hello YouTube, this is One Lady Prepper and this is the third video of my series on um, family emergencies and the things you should have just in case there's an emergency. Well, I'm going to start off with medical and first of all um, I'd like to thank um, our good friends at um, uh, Refuge Medical. If you use the promo code one leg prep, you get 10% off of your entire order. They're the best medical kits on the planet. I uh, have a friend who's in the Navy and uh, I asked her what kind of medical kit she had and she kind of snickered at me and she's like, what do you as civilian know about medical kits? And then I showed her my medical kit and she's like, wow, mine's not that good. I'm like, well, I'm here to save your life if needed. You know, I just, because I'd rather save life than lose life. All right. So anyway, um, we're dealing with medical. So one leg prep, one is in a number, leg prep gets you 10% off. Say hi to my buddy Forrest when you order. Uh, personal data you should have. You should have your name, address, phone number, and birth date. Have the name of an emergency contact, their phone number, and their relationship to you. Your medical history, your wallet card, your medical conditions, past and present treatments, uh, the medical equipment devices you have. I will be able to travel real soon, so I have a portable dialysis machine. I have a wheelchair that I may take with me. I got canes, I've got all the good stuff. The type of devices you need the doctor that issues it to you, and the uses or prescribed uses. And then your daily needs, your mobility issues, sensory impairments such as vision, hearing, or speech. If you don't have a way to communicate with people, you're going to need a, a way to communicate with people, whether if it means drawing it out, writing it out, if you can't talk. All right, now we're getting into the family emergency plan. You wanna have an out of town contact, someone that you can phone, email, and give that to every member of your family. Have a family event plan if there's a house fire, if there's a wildfire, if there's a flood or a tornado. Uh, family members with limited mobility. Sir, have a family member who can help them get out of a bad situation either down the stairs or assign a family member to help them get out. Have a meeting location out of home. If there's a fire in my house, we meet by the stop sign across the street or the street sign across the street. Out of the neighborhood, we're gonna meet up at the grocery store, out of region or state, we're going far away, probably somewhere on the east coast. Family cold word or phrase, have a cold word or phrase. So when I say to my son, the owl is on the woodshed, he knows what to do. 
Of course, that's not the code, but hey, that's pretty cool. Important email addresses of doctors, the pharmacy, insurance for medical, home rental, car, and any other type of insurance. Also, if you have a uh, service animal, vet number, the work number of both you and your spouse, school phone number, address, for each student, if they all go to the same school, then write it three different times. Household members. For each member of the household, they should have the out-of-town contact, the meeting location, medical information and plan, the code work, again, kid prepper, the owls on the woodshed. medical emergency wallet card and in a go bag for every member of the family it is important that you uh practice 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 and when it comes to go bags use your stuff so that you know what works for you and what doesn't work for you and have the information readily accessible so just in case my nine-year-old son has to go to a police officer, hey, he can say, here, I need you to call, call this person. And then the last section of this video, I wanna cover what you need in your car. Of course, you should have your wallet card in your car. That's with all your medical information on. You should have a small supply of food and water, a flashlight, and or a whistle, a phone car charger, road flares, distress flag, plastic tarp and tape, fire extinguisher, maps. Other car items you should have are fluids, oil, antifreeze, 50-50 mix, uh, washer fluid, Funnel rings, jumper cables, battery charger. Funny story, my ex-wife called me down to her workplace. She asked me to jump her friend. And then I reminded her that we were not only newlyweds, but to think about what she said. And she said, oh, oh, I'm like, so I'm assuming you want me to come down and give your friend's car a jump start. And she's like, yeah. I'm like, I'm glad I didn't read into that too much, but anyway, take it for what it's worth. Tow chain, shovel, shovel, saw, pocket knife, tape, duct tape, electrical tape. Duct tape is great for sticking to everything, and um, electrical tape is good if you need um, emergency medical tape. But I recommend you get 10% off with one leg prep for 10% um, uh, off of your entire order. So I'd recommend on getting um, tape from um, Refuge Medical. Car items continue, WD-40, tool kit, and that tool kit, you should have adjustable wrenches, vice grip pliers, pliers, and screwdrivers. Utility knife would not be a bad idea either. And then um, some um, duct tape in case you have to uh, duct tape up anything. Gloves, both work and disposable. Bags for garbage and Ziploc bags. Uh, water purification. A mask kit. 
paper, pencils, pens, and I throw on a Sharpie marker for good measure. Boots, coffee can, and this coffee can should have matches and a candle. So that way if you need to uh, melt snow or that. I know my California view viewers are gonna be like, what snow? Well, at least in the southern part of the state. YouTube, it's about being safe out there. It's about making sure you have the medical. It's about making sure that you have all the information you need. You know, if there's a disaster and you're going to be away from your house, you're going to want your driver's license. You're going to want your birth certificate. You're going to want your social security number just in case you have to restart your life somewhere else. It gets difficult fast. And the more prepared you are, the more you can take your life on the road, the better off you can be. Well, as always, YouTube, if you found this video useful, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you have a disabled person, or you know of somebody that could benefit from this information, please share it with them. I don't talk onto this straight up and down iPhone just to talk. I don't like to hear myself talk. To be honest with you, I don't like the sound of my voice. But if I don't say this, who's gonna? Well, as always, YouTube, this is one legged prepper saying, God bless. And I hope you have a wonderful day. This is one legged prepper out.